Good morning, folks. And welcome back to another Travels of Red Rover. I'm Sean. And I'm Corrine. And where are we on this beautiful morning? We're in Northern Ireland in a place called Antrim County, which is a beautiful county that's on the northeast coast of Northern Ireland. And specifically, what are we visiting here today? Well, we're hoping to do the uh, hedges or the dark hedges. And uh, hopefully those are actually just right in front of us behind the camera. Uh, and uh, uh, it's not really a great light day for it, but uh, we're gonna do a little exploratory. May have to come back again and shoot them again when the light's a little better. Yeah, when we have the weather that's as unpredictable as it is, we're gonna take a few shots, uh, do the best we can under these conditions, but hope we can get better conditions later. Okay. Let's the walk out to the hedges is not uh, terribly long. It uh, starts at this beautiful old house. There's a parking lot just in the background there. And as we walk out, you start entering the trees along a lane and the trees kind of expand out from there. A lot of the trees have been removed over the years, so you have to choose your shots carefully. Well, walking down the road, to the dark hedges, you can actually see they're not so much hedges as very tall trees. And they've created a really interesting pattern of tree trunks that uh, encroach over the road and make some nice light when the, the light comes through the tree trunks. You can see there were a lot of people visiting the hedges while we were there. So we ended up actually making some new friends and taking some shots of folks. And here they are. So we've been doing some experimenting this morning uh, and uh, making some new friends as uh, we were just uh, trying some various shots at uh, the hedges, right? The dark, dark hedges. hedges. Yes. And uh, probably a good warning for what it was. Yeah. So we thought we would take some shots, see what we could get. They're probably very decent, I think, based on what I saw in the back of the camera. If the weather is bad tomorrow, well, we've at least got something in the bag. Exactly. If it's nice tomorrow, we may be back a little earlier when it's quiet and maybe a little misty. Yeah, apparently there's been some fog in the bush here, which are in the hedges here, which uh, would make it really cool. So we're going to try again tomorrow and we'll let you know how it makes out. And here are the shots from day one. To much to our surprise, these turned out much better than we expected. We sure hope you enjoy them. Good morning, folks. So Kareen and I have come back to... The dark hedges. And uh, we didn't get the fog we hoped to get this morning, although we had to drive in fog all the way here and then there was no <laughs> fog when we got here. Yeah, that was weird. But we did meet some nice people and we got a few interesting shots, I think. Yeah, uh, we got a variety of light. So sometimes it was kind of gloomy, the sun behind a cloud, not much. Uh, direct light, just indirect light. And then the sun came out from behind the cloud and we kind of tried to get a misty effect with it. Yeah, and I, uh, it really, you really have to, if you do come here to do some photography, bring at least a 70 to 200 millimeter lens. You really do need it to compress the trees to really get that real nice ethereal uh, look to it. Even more than 200 would work. Yeah. And we found that uh, probably the uh, end of the lane that is closest to the manor house and looking uphill was maybe a little better than 
being at the top of the hill and looking down. So yeah. we've got a little of both and we'll show you those or we've showed you those already. <laughs> <laughs> you can compare them. Um, anything else? No, no. And take care. And until next time, bye for now. And here are the shots from day two. Because we had some really nice shots from day one, we were able to do a little bit more experimenting in day two. And we sure hope you enjoy these. So we're going to bring this video to an end. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of our videos, we sure hope you will consider subscribing. And as always, when you want, if you want to know when we release videos, hit that little bell button down below. And give us some questions and comments and thoughts and share what you think. We love to hear from you. We love the feedback. Thanks and, again. And until next time, bye for now. Bye for now.